It's the burning question to one of the most salacious murder mysteries ever. Is Danny Pelosi the hitman or the fall guy? And now the one person who can answer it tells me he's ready to come clean. I will take a lie detector test. Go get your machine, ask me any of them questions, strap me up right now. We tried to take Pelosi up on his offer, but the prison would not allow us to bring in a polygraph. In your opinion, as a counselor, was Danny Pelosi capable of murder? Beyond a shadow of a doubt, he was not capable of murder, ever. But the Suffolk County DA's office claims it was Pelosi who went to the Ammons house in the Hamptons and bashed Ted Skolin. And then he got rid of the security system he helped Generosa secretly install. Was there any of Danny Pelosi's DNA at the crunch? No. Retired NYPD detective Jay Saul Peter is now Danny Pelosi's private investigator. No murder weapon. No murder weapon, no, no fingerprints. fingerprints, no DNA at all. But the prosecution had something more powerful than forensic evidence, witnesses. Pelosi's ex-girlfriend and the Ammons' private nanny both testify they overheard Danny confess to killing Ted. But perhaps the most damning testimony came from this man, Clayton Moultrie, a known prison snitch. Clayton Moultrie was in the holding prison of Suffolk County, also awaiting trial or sentencing for his crime, and they wired Clayton Moultrie. To record Danny Pelosi. To record Danny Pelosi. During the trial, the prosecution laid out stacks of audio tapes claiming they contained hours of Pelosi bragging about murdering Ted. Clayton Moultrie testified at the trial that Danny Pelosi admitted killing Ted Ammon. Wait, wait. So the prosecutor had tapes purportedly of Pelosi confessing to the crime yes. in a jail cell? Yes. And those tapes were not played at trial? No. Those tapes were stacked up on the table of the prosecutor right. during the trial. Do you think there was actually a recording of Danny Pelosi confessing to the murder? No. Moultrie's testimony and that of other witnesses claiming Pelosi confessed to the murder was enough for a jury to convict him of second degree murder. Pelosi was sentenced to 25 years to life. Pelosi, who's been locked up here at Attica Prison in upstate New York for more than a decade, agreed to give Crime Watch Daily an exclusive interview, providing me with new details that he says will prove his innocence. Pelosi is a shadow of the man he once was. His $5,000 Armani suits have been replaced with prison-issued polyester. He's also a grandfather. That's what I walked away from. But there is one thing about Danny Pelosi that hasn't changed, his story. Did you kill Ted Ammon? No, I did not kill Ted Ammon. I will take a lie detector test. Go get your machine, ask me any of them questions, strap me up right now. I got nothing to hide. I never had nothing to hide. Were you covering up to protect Generosa? 150%, yes. Why would Generosa want her husband dead? Okay, this is gonna take about 15 minutes. You ready? Condense it. The condensed version is darker than anyone imagined. And Pelosi says he's never revealed the depths of it until right now. Well, guess what? Ted Ammon was touching his children. I've never made that public. Generosa was of the belief that Ted was inappropriately touching the children. Ted was touching the children. I don't have any interest in speaking with him. Uh, he's in jail and he should be in jail. The Ammon children, Alexa and Greg, now adults, have vehemently denied the accusations. At the premiere of a film about their family titled 59 Middle Lane, they blasted Pelosi while talking to Extra. What did you think of the allegations that the mother set up a hitman? Well, you know, he's a, uh, he's a pure psychopath, so anything that he says, I just can't believe. Again, our mother will always be our mother. You know? She's gone now, and we want to preserve, you know, the wonderful memories that we do have with her. But Pelosi tells me Generosa continued to believe the children were being molested. And he claims that's why she walked over to Danny's construction site and put a bounty on her then husband's head. Generosa screams, I'll give anybody here $50,000 to beat the out of my husband. My jaw hit the floor. Pelosi says one person eagerly stepped up and it wasn't him. Rather, it was Chris Perino. How did you know Chris Perino? He worked 
for me. I was his boss. He was a soprano wannabe who had more stories than anybody. Pelosi says Perino hired two other tough guys to drive out to the Hamptons and help rough up Ted. I was under the influence uh, that Generosa paid the guys to go tune him up. Tune up. Tune up Ted Amos. Meaning? Him, throw him a beating. Rough him up. To bust his hand, bust his finger, and let him know if you ever touch them kids again, you'll kill him. Danny tells me he wasn't even there. He was an hour and a half away at a family wedding. Danny claims he watched the whole tune-up unfold on his laptop using the high-tech secret security system he installed. Who do you see come in and what do they do? When Ted Ammon answered his door, the one man grabbed Ted Ammon by her throat, just as my fingers are, and pushed him up against the wall like that. He had a gun in his left hand, held him up, and threw him to the floor. And then Pelosi tells me he gets the surprise of his life. There on the security tape is Generosa. Generosa walks through. She picks up the tennis racket. All I seen was her go into the bedroom. She started yelling at Ted. And Ted said something, and she lost her temper and told Chris to shut him up. And Chris smacked him in the head. You never see Ammon exit the bedroom again after that. What did Generosa say when you confronted her? Ted got exactly what he deserved. Pelosi tells me he didn't even get to the Hamptons' house until two days later. First thing he did, remove the secret security system to protect Generosa. What did you do with this video evidence? The actual unit that was removed was thrown into a creek on Shore Road in Lindenhurst. Dozens of divers have searched for it, but it's never been found. It doesn't make sense to a lot of people that if you had some evidence that would exonerate you, that you would throw it into a creek. Honestly, I'm not an angel in this. I really ain't. Did I cover up for Generosa? Yep. Did I lie for Generosa? Yep. Did I throw that stupid thing in the water? Yep. Huh? Did I protect her to the end? Absolutely. Why did you protect Generosa? Because I loved her. I was in love with her. Pelosi claims he was railroaded, not by Generosa. He says the Suffolk County prosecutor had it out for him. Why would she go after you? Because I'm the perfect guy. What am I doing, Danny Pelosi, doing with this multi-millionaire gazillionaire woman? And remember that snitch, Clayton Moultrie, who was the prosecutor's key witness? Now he's changing his story, claiming he was threatened to frame Pelosi or else. And they already told me, well, I don't do this. They're going to, you know, arrest my wife. And I'm like, I can't allow, you know, that yeah. to happen. So I went out there and lied about some things. Moultrie has reportedly said the Suffolk County DA's office offered him $25,000, a job and a get-out-of-jail card for three robbery charges if he would lie on the stand. So I got up there. And like I said, uh, I said some things that was nowhere near the truth. The man never told me that he killed somebody. Crime Watch Daily has not been able to verify Moultrie's claims, but now he's the one feeling guilty about his testimony. He's innocent, and, and, and I had anything to do with him being convicted, you know. I want to do everything in my power to make sure that the truth is out here. We reached out to the Suffolk County DA's office about these outrageous claims. The DA's office never returned our calls. But if Moultrie is telling the truth now, and Pelosi never confessed to the murder, who killed Ted Ammons? Danny says it was Chris Perino. Perino denies it, but did confess to being at the house the night of the murder, and eventually pleaded guilty to hindering the prosecution. Perino was never charged in the murder, and says it was Danny who bludgeoned Ted to death. Here, I'll give you the challenge of the year. I will give every dime I get when I get out of here to Chris Perino and his family. If he sits down and gets strapped up to a lie detector and asks one question, did you murder Ted Ammon? 
Did Danny Pelosi murder to them? With that kind of allegation, I had to try to get Chris Perino's side of the story. Perino now lives in this gated community behind me. We came down here to Apollo Beach, Florida, looking for answers. I made several attempts to get Chris on the phone. Hey, Chris, it's Chris Hansen with Crime Watch Daily. Wanted to talk to you about some new information that surfaced in the Ted Ammon murder case. Finally, we got a call back, but it was from Perino's attorney, and he told me that Perino has never done an interview. He's not interested in talking to me now. For now, Pelosi remains behind bars, but pledges to keep fighting for what he says is the truth. I'm Catholic. I'm not burning in hell for killing anybody. Huh? And I know, yeah, I'm a sinner. I was, I was definitely, definitely an adulteress. That I got to answer for when I go up there, but I'm not a murderer. Hoping to finally put this tragic story behind them, Ammon's twins finally put the 7,000 square foot home where their father was killed up for sale this year. The asking price, just under $11 million. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.